May I now request our principal, Ms. Sholu, to kindly address the audience. Karen, good afternoon. Once again, to a very, very enthusiastic audience of parents, grandparents, people who've taken leave, have taken time off from work and are here. Thank you for being here and always being so supportive parents. We're really delighted to have you with us, Ms. Bose. It was inspiring to hear about your work. And I think whatever touches your heart, whatever you believe in, if you're ready to work at your young age, you've made such a difference and a name for yourself. I'm sure this will inspire many children in our school. And we hope one day you'll bring your animals to our school too. I'd like to share the journey of the making of Do with Dr. Doolittle. Emerging from the lockdown, we found a lot of gaps, both in social and emotional behavior, the ability not to sit in one place, ability to, the ability to be able to work as a group. We found these that were different from what it was prior to the lockdown. The play was conceptualized in the class when teachers were working on empathy and kindness. The script is written by our primary coordinator, Ms. Mrs. An Anandita Bose, assisted by our language mentor, Mrs. Swati Lal supported by the entire team of teachers. The 11 songs have been written and the dialogues all were learned in record time and the children have practiced for 35 working days. While you see some of them reciting, some will act, some will dance, sing and the rest Many of them have expressed themselves through art, which you will see displayed around the hall as posters. There are two unique features that I feel very proud of as the head of the school and I would like to share that. This is a completely in-house production. You know, the concept, the writing of the scape script, planning the costumes, uh, writing the songs, putting them to music, everything is done in-house. And that makes me feel really happy and proud that our teachers and staff have even grown in their capacity. And as we do this, we also learn and enrich ourselves. And the other is that our 540 children from class 3, 4 and 5, each one of them has taken part. Both over two days, yesterday and today. Unlike when we were in school, only the best got to come up on stage, each of them you will see, sometimes just for a few seconds maybe, sometimes for a longer time, but you will see each one of them. The concert is here not only to bring you the magic of love and compassion, but also to share that the little ones have put their hearts and soul into singing in unison, into dancing in tandem, practicing and perfecting their lines and their moves. And when they chant the ancient shlokas, they learned about the elements of the earth and the need to protect them. I hope you enjoy the labor of love, the time that has gone into putting this concert together. Thank you so much. I just a request, which is not a planned thing, but do we have some army officers here? Yes? 
we have any army officers here? Could you just stand up and come from? This is our respect to you. I know your parents like it and all that. If you'd like to come forward, please come forward. We have some chairs empty here. So I respect to you. And if there's any grandmother or grandfather who's finding it difficult at the back, please come forward. If there's any grandparent you'd like to bring forward before we begin. Thank you, sir. Children will now begin the day with shlokas. We all know that shlokas are ancient tools devised by our ancestors to evoke positive energy and optimism around us. Our shlokas speak of maintaining the balance of nature and loving and protecting Mother Earth. <laughs> व्यवस्थित श्वास को बढ़ाता है और मस्तिष्क को अतिरिक्त ऑक्सीजन की आपूर्ति करता है जो इसे तेज रहने और बेहतर ध्यान केंद्रित करने में मदद करता है जन्म 
परोपकार के लिए फल देती है नदियाँ परोपकार के लिए बहती है वीर परोपकार के लिए अपना जीवन देते हैं हमारा यह शरीर भी परोपकार के लिए ही है धन्यवाद minds calm and attentive let us prepare to view today's performance our world of dr dulati we begin with the prologue a prologue is an introduction to a dramatic performance this prologue will take you to the childhood days of a little boy named johnny he has a unique gift but is it appreciated let us find out by hopping into a time machine and going back in time to see the seven year old John Doolittle. You are not, you are 
Our world of Dr. Doolittle has been adapted from the story Dr. Doolittle by Hugh Lofty. Johnny, a grown-up man now, is everyone's beloved Dr. Doolittle. For him, treating animals like people is no madness. Four-legged patients flock to his house, delighted to have a doctor who is always empathetic and ready to help. Dr. Doolittle and his team will remind us that love is a universal language and the value of empathy transcends time and space. Thank <laughs> you. 
She 
What? And Helen's name is wrong and this is Dalloway. Rheumatism. Ha! Why did she yell? And leave in such a hurry? She sat on the poor little head box. John or Little, how can you expect sick people to come and see you when you need all these animals inside the house? Should a doctor have a stranger full of hedgehogs and mice? That is the fourth patient these animals have driven away. This is wonderful. A 
for me? When would you like to start working with me, Tim? Uh, right away. May I please? Sure. Remember what I said. Be an animal doctor. I have to go. I have some work. The man's got sense. That's what you ought to do. Be an animal doctor. Give the silly people a laugh if they haven't the brains enough to see you're the best doctor in the world. Take care of animals instead. They'll soon find it out. Be an animal doctor. Oh, but there are plenty of vets in Puddleby. Um, yes, there are plenty. But I bet not a single one can actually talk to the animals. Well, I guess you are right there. But they could learn if they had as good a teacher as you. You are a wise old bird, Polynesia. I have never met anyone as wise as you, Polynesia. I wish I had a teacher like you. Please do teach me animal language. Sure. Shouldn't 
my glasses? The same as the people? Is there? None at all. I would like a pair like yours. Nibi, will keep the sun out of my eyes while I'm plowing on the 50 acres field. Yes, that's exactly what you need. Green one you shall have. When will my glasses be ready? I'll have them for you next week. Come in again on Tuesday. Thank you, doctor. I'm glad you are here for me. Yes, they do. And I can 
understand them. Bye bye, John. Do let me I'm done with you.
Good morning, Doctor. Ah, good morning, Tim. What have you here? What is this thing? Tim, this is an angel fish. Where did you get it? Well, yesterday, when I was out with my father, collecting a set, it was trapped in a small pool. Let's put him into the listening time. Listening time? What do you listen to? I use it to communicate with fish and other aquatic life. It is my own invention. How does this thing work? Well, you see that funnel attached to the inside of the tank? Oh, uh, yes. Well, it is specially designed so that when I attach my listening and communication device, I can hear the fish talk and I can talk to them. That certainly is amazing, Doctor. I've been trying to communicate with this fella over here. Hello, Doctor. Who is this little fellow with you? He is my new assistant. What kind of creature is this, Doctor? Wifwa. Its full name is Hippocampus Tupitopitus. I went all the way to the eastern Mediterranean to get him. It's a particular kind of pipe fish. Half shellfish and half ordinary fish. Perhaps a rather shellfish would walk home. After all, he is too small. Yes, that's true. <coughs> hmm. He does not seem very communicative today. Well, maybe when he gets used to his new environment, he'll have something to say. Doctor, there is another rabbit waiting for you. Ah, yes, I must go. Thank <laughs> you.
Welcome, Doctor. We are indeed grateful to have you here. We have heard so much about you. Our problem is indeed a strange one. There was once a time we lived in this jungle, peacefully and ventured into the nearby forest looking for food. But now we are unable to reach the forest. The army has made a big camp on the edge of the forest and we cannot get enough to eat. Can you help us? Alright, let me see what I can do about it. I do understand how difficult it must be for you now if you do not have enough to eat. Thank you. 
that you saw? Oh, yes. It was splendid. Welcome to Dharma Forest. Tasca sent a message that you have sorted out the problem. He has sent the basic. Hello, Lily. Pleased to meet you. I was told that there is a large forest here. Do tell us what is the problem that you are facing here. Doctor, over the last few years, the government has made a national highway and this cuts across our forest. We have to cross the road to go to the river. However, there is so much traffic on the road that we cannot. And when we cross, then all the cars and trucks get stuck in jam. The baby elephants gets very upset when the car starts honking. Alright Lily, let me see what I can do about this.
feel for us, understand us, and protect the habitat. There is so much on the earth and something for everyone to share. The earth has so much to offer to us. We must protect the earth and share its beauty with everyone. <laughs> Thank you.